Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the youngest woman on death row. Now this should be a real interesting one because, you know, death, death row is quite a controversial topic. A lot of countries, including the UK, have done away with it, um, done away with capital punishment. I, I, I don't really have a position on it because I can understand, you know, the, the pros and cons, if you will, of, of keeping it. And uh, it's... Uh, but when you have someone very young, I'm assuming the woman in this video, you know, she's going to be maybe in her 20s, maybe even earlier. You know, that person of that, of that young an age, maybe there's a chance of rehabilitation because they've still got a long time left. Maybe if you gave them a, a lengthy sentence, maybe they could, you know, realize what they did and have sufficient regret. I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm intrigued to, to, to see, you know, who this lady is, why she did what she did, if she has any regret. Yeah, it should be fascinating. Let's do it. Ocala, Florida, at the Lowell Correctional Institution, two young women come down the hall, waving, smiling together like girlfriends. Wow. How are you? They are Tiffany Cole, now 33, Amelia Carr, now 30. Two separate crimes, 30. two separate lives until they became neighbors on the notorious corridor. Do you call it death row? No, we call it life row. It's life row. Mm -hmm. Life row? Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're not dying, we're living. Do you ever think I might be executed? No. You can't have that mentality because that means you've accepted you've already this. You've already died. Yeah, you You're cannot already have dead. that mentality. Mm -hmm. Two women, neither of whom had ever spent a night in jail before. Living lives so familiar, Tiffany played the flute in high school, cheerleading, Girl Scouts. Amelia, book smart, and says she modeled and was in the school Marines. Both say they were sexually abused as children and both met the wrong guy. Tiffany says she barely knew her boyfriend. Three weeks. Three weeks. And had you ever been in trouble? Mm-mm. It is hard to connect the face in these photos to the horrible crime committed with her boyfriend and his friends, neighbors of her family first robbed, then buried alive in a grave. Oh my God. I didn't know what was coming, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Her lawyer told the court Tiffany Cole thought the grave was for items they were stealing. He also talked about that sexual abuse by her father and her drugs, her mental and psychological problems. The jury. I get that, but you still bury someone alive. Saw a damning photo after the crime. They convicted her. I am not the same person anymore. I have peace. I have joy. I have a sound mind. And Amelia, the youngest woman on death row, convicted of another horrifying murder, helping her boyfriend suffocate his wife with duct tape oh and plastic God. bag. There is a police tape of Amelia after her boyfriend confessed. She's eight months pregnant with his child. Yes, we are child is I was shaking so bad. She admits she was there, but says not when the wife was actually killed. Her lawyer argued there was no physical evidence that she had even touched the duct tape. But when the judge gave her her sentence, he called her cold and said, may God have mercy on your soul. The duct tape, the asphyxiation, what do you feel? She doesn't want to talk about it. Like, I don't understand that reaction there. You know, if 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 you were innocent, wouldn't you be saying, you know, something to that effect? In what aspect? Like reflecting? Yes. They say they are reluctant to talk details of the crimes because they're both appealing their sentences. It's hard to answer because it's like I wasn't where all that happened. But looking back and thinking about what she had to go through and, you know, what her family is enduring is terrible. And they asked some questions of us about the justice system. A study estimates one in 25 people on death row is innocent of the crime. And 75% have no money for private lawyers. Amelia says she had no money, but her boyfriend hired a high-powered attorney. He got life, she got death. How many rich people are in prison? Seriously, seriously. On death, on death row? 
wife sentences. We're all people who Ugh. are either minorities or didn't have any, any money. Unfortunately, equality is an illusion. And before we leave, she has another question, this one about TV. I have a question. Why do you think there's such a desire to make women look so bad in the media, you know? They watch endless crime stories about women who kill. Like Jodi Arias, you know, that thing went huge. I don't understand why does America want so bad to feed off of this negativity? I don't know if it's about that though. I think it's just curiosity. I don't know if people, I don't know if America wants to feed off that negativity. Or what do you guys think? I just think it's human nature to be curious about things that are so far away from our actual lives. The young women get up to go back to their cells 24 hours a day, except for the three times a week they're outside on concrete for two hours. In a different building, the chamber where Florida executes death row inmates. Across America, there have been five executions of women in the last decade, another one scheduled for Monday. And when we contacted the victims' families in both these crimes, they told us they believe the death penalty is right. Mm. The women said they will go back to their books and their prayers. And praising God in the process, you know, and just showing people we're people. It's not over. There is forgiveness and there is hope. Wow. Wow. The fact that they can smile. I don't know how to feel, honestly. I, I don't know how to feel. On one hand, they were convicted by a jury of their peers. And, you know, obviously the victim's family has every right to want, to want justice. On the other hand, what if they're innocent? What if they didn't actually do it? Uh, it's so confusing. It's such a difficult question. What do you guys think? Should, you know, should their sentence be carried out? Or should they be, you know, given like a life sentence? What do you guys think? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.